the final extra tool I want to kind of showcase uh, is the uh, follow path tool. So here you can see we have our favorite walking animation again. 500 frames long. And we want this to follow a curve. So we hit curve, add path. There it is. Now let's make the path a little more interesting. And say something like that. Select the path. Select the stride bone empty. Follow path becomes activated. Hit follow path. And there you have it, he's walking along the curve. Now, obviously, f as always, foot skate is our biggest enemy. Let me just hide him. So let's see if we have any foot skate. As you can see, we don't because the tool automatically calculates the correct speed of the curve uh, to fix foot skate. This only works if the curve is roughly the same length, that is, this it's the same length of the distance excuse me this only works if the length of the curve is roughly the same as the distance the original arm which will travel that is if you notice if I make the curve longer we're going to get noticeable foot skate here because he has to just travel too much and he doesn't know how to handle it so as long as you use the same amount of curves that works pretty well another thing you can do is convert your animation to a cyclic animation set extrapolation to cyclic and then the animation will just cycle through and you can make your steps your, p your pass as long as you want uh, path editing is another great way if you have to have your character traverse a rather complicated terrain just draw a curve or project the curve onto the floor and have him follow that and that will work pretty well